Hello Munchkins, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well. And Bacha Party, today we are going to discuss the 10 most expected MCQs that can be asked from brain authors. You will know that whatever you have to extract these questions, there are many questions in your MCQ format. So, I have to take all the questions from you today. And let me tell you, these are the questions that you can ask in one mark as well. In the extract these questions. So, make sure to watch this video. Until the very end, and subsequently, video ko like kar do. channel ko subscribe kar do. Ye kare bina koi bhi aage nahi padega. All right, kids. So let's take the uh, session flow for today. So sabse pehle ham log kya karenge? Sir, MCQs ko discuss karenge. Ten MCQs I have in list for you. So ham wo questions ko discuss karenge. Uske baad I also have a homework question towards the end of the video. Or agar apne us homework question ka sahi answer mujhe comment section mein bataya, to I'll pick your names for homework home runners next time and declare your name on this very screen. So make sure to watch this video until the end for that homework question as well. And kiddos, this is the schedule that we have been following for this week. Abhi hum log 10 most expected MCQs kar rahe hain. Tomorrow at 9 p.m. I will be coming up with a VIP series on Snake in the Mirror. So make sure to watch that video as well. Alright, so Bacha Wadi, let's appreciate our pichli baaki homework home runners. So congratulations Awantika, Arni, Sheetal, Sumhi and Harish. Great job done, Bacha Wadi. And if you also have your name, you have to see some of the same screen. Pe dekna hai, so you know the drill. Make sure to complete the homework question in the comment section and I'll pick your names from there for next time. Okay, kiddos, let's take a dose of motivation. So no one can ever take your memories from you. Each day is a new beginning. Make good memories every single day. Take a hard day up to make opportunity to make it great, to make some great memories on that day. So utilize each day, do its fullest, live it to the fullest. And Bacha Bati, Jesse Ki Hamare, is a poem ki jo poet thi quotes ke ni. Unhone, you know, is poem me ki how memories, you know, brought back to him by the bitter patter of the rain. So, bhai, let's see ki usme se aapke kya kya questions puche sa sakte. What memories does it bring back to you? Take a minute, brain on the roof already detailed me aapke explain kari bhi hai the video is out there on the channel you have to do nothing just search rain on the roof summary by ocean full map you have to buy ocean map and you'll get the video right in front of you okay all right moving ahead let's start with the first question of the day from the category of 10 most expected mcqs so here are the questions guys what is the significant memory described by the poet why he listens to the sound of the rain kaun si aisi significant the important memory hai jo ki poet ne describe kari hai take care well why he is listening to the sound of the rain so his childhood memories his memory or memory of his siblings memory of his past life and memory of his mother what is the correct answer? Let me know your, your, your score as well in the comment section. So the correct answer over here is I know the question is a little confusing. The memory of his mother. Take a mother he has his key budget say on a you know his siblings ki ya unke childhood ki memories are the all is related to his mother. Take a mother ki memory subs are the important hai or past life ki memories to unhe kahi par aati hi nahi hai. Isi life ko apni remember kar rahe hai. All right, moving on to the question number two. And a thousand dreamy fancies. What creates those thousand fancies? Kaun si aisi cheese hai, joon fancies, joon imaginations ko create karti hai is poem hai. The clouds, the rainy night, the sound of the rain, or both A and B. What is the correct answer, kiddos? And uh, drum rolls, please. Let's have a look at the correct answer, which is the sound of the rain. You have to remember that the rain ki sound hai, that is what acts as the medium for the poor, which is the memories ko trigger karti hai. Clouds ko na describe kara, night ko bhi unhe describe kara hai. But the thousand dreamy fancies hai, it comes to him when he listens to the bitter patter of the rain. Okay, not anything else. All right. Let's move on to the question number three. 
what makes an echo in the poet's heart in the rain on the roof theek hai you have to relate it to the lyrics theek hai jo bhi lyrics bhi nahi jo aapke wordings hain jo bhi aapko stanzas mein jab cheeze di gayi hai na theek hai try to open your energy at him theek hai kaun si aisi cheez hai rain on the roof mein jo hamare poet ke haath mein echo karti hai theek hai so that is inner cry to find his love the sound of loneliness the sound of rain or the sound of his mother's call what is the correct answer a b c or d could you guys guess on the so let's have a look at the correct answer it is the sound of the rain theek hai that is what echoes in the poet's heart theek hai wo bar bar you know unko wapas unke heart mein bajti hai that brings back all the memories it's not theek hai love ki baat unhone kari nahi hai loneliness ki baat unhone kari nahi hai mother ki call unhe throughout the poem kahin sunai nahi deti he does remember his mother he can you know imagine the fond look she had on her face whenever she used to look at him but he does not remember his her call theek hai to be precise so the sound of the rain that echoes in his heart jo ki heart mein bar bar bajti hai sunai deti hai all right moving ahead what difference does the sound of rain create in the poet's mind theek hai sound of the rain to sunte hi poet ke mind mein kaun sa difference aata hai it makes him imaginative brings him back in the memories or makes him melancholic or both a and b what is the correct answer guys a b c और व्हाट डू यू थिंक लेट्स सी लेट्स सी लेट्स सी कमेंट सेक्शन में बताना कितने लोगों के कितने कितने सही आंसर आए ठीक है एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज बोथ ए एंड बी ठीक है सबसे पहले यू नो ही बिकम्स इमेजिनेटिव एंड अ थाउजेंड फैंसीज यू नो दे स्टार्ट वीविंग इनटू हिज माइंड वो बहुत सारी चीजें इमेजिन करने लगते हैं एंड इट ब्रिंग्स बैक अ लॉट ऑफ मेमोरीज एट द सेम टाइम फॉर द पोर जहां पे उन्हें अपनी मम्मा की याद आती है उन्हें अपना पूरा चाइल्डहुड याद आता है हाउ हिज मदर यूज्ड टू लुक आफ्टर हिम एंड हिज सिब्लिंग्स ठीक है इट डज not make him melancholy theek hai melancholy is not the precise correct word to be used over here theek hai poet ka jo mood hai wo sad kahin nahi hota he is just remembering his mother theek hai uski mom jo hai uska kaise dhyan de rahi thi uske siblings ka kaise dhyan de rahi thi so both a and b which is the option d is the correct answer all right moving ahead approximately how many memories of the poet hits the poet mind while listening to the sound of the rain jaisi poet jo hai rain ki sound ko sunte hain kitni memories aati hai approximately a hundred a dozen the thousand a million this specific word has been used in your poem itself aap yahan pe likha hua hai a dash the dreamy fancies to so dash ke andar kya aata tha what do you think ठीक है एनसीआर की अगर आपको याद है बुक आपने पढ़ी है आपको अच्छे से पता होगा What's the correct answer? The correct answer is a thousand, a thousand dreamy fancies. So thousand memories approximately they come back to him. Not a hundred, not a dozen, not a million. All right. Moving ahead to the next one. As I listen to this refrain, what is being referred to as refrain? ठीक है जहाँ ऐसे हमने जिस लाइन में यूज़ करा ना ऐसे listen to this refrain. ठीक है जो कि आपकी पोम में यूज़ हुआ है तो वहाँ पर refrain का मतलब क्या है? The repetitive rhythm of the rain, the act of staying away, looking at the rains, or holding on to the rain drops. What's the correct answer, kiddos? The correct answer is ए द रेपिटेटिव रिदम ऑफ द रेन ठीक है रेफरिंग का मतलब होता है जो चीज बार बार रिपीट हो ठीक है तो यहां पे रिपीट क्या हो रही है रिदम ऑफ द रेन ठीक है एक्ट ऑफ स्टेइंग अवे लुकिंग एट द रेन्स होल्डिंग ऑन द रेन ड्रॉप्स ऐसी कोई भी चीज पोर्ट ने मेंशन नहीं करी है जो बार बार कर रहे हो बट ही डस मेंशन ठीक है जैसे ही वो यू नो पोर्ट की जो हमारी रेन की रिदम है पिचर पैटर्न उसे बार बार सुनते हैं रूफ में उन्हें वापस से मेमोरीज हिट करने लगती हैं, so it's rhythm of the rain, all right. Moving on to the question number seven here, what does the speaker describe as bliss in the poem? ठीक है, poem में bliss किस चीज़ को बोला गया है? What is something that brings him lot of happiness? ठीक है, the feeling of lying down and pressing the pillow during the rain. the feeling of going out and getting drenched in the rain. the feeling of having the loved I want around the rain or none of the above. 
आई नो ए एफ सी थोड़े से कंफ्यूजिंग होंगे बट बेटा प्लीज रेफर टू योर आंसर करेक्ट आंसर इज ए ओवर हेयर Not see. He misses his mom, but he says that how blissful it is. कि अगर आप अपने कॉटेज में, अपने रूम में अकेले बैठे हो, you do nothing and you're just listening to the rain. ठीक है, you're just pressing your pillow. ठीक है, and feeling of going out. ये तो बोला ही नहीं था वो लोग ने. इसकी बात कहीं नहीं करी उन्होंने. All right. Moving on to the question number eight. What is the impact of the tinkling of rain on the shingles? Tinkling yani jo jaise rain ki sound hone shingles yani ki upar jo unke wo wooden lage hue hai roof us par aati hai to kya impact hota hai? It makes the author eccentric and her jeep sa mood ho jata hai uska creates echo in his heart makes him lonely or makes him joyful. What is the correct option out of these four A B C or D? Did you guess it right? Let's see. The correct answer is B. It creates an echo in his heart. ठीक है उन्हें बार-बार कोई चीज़ वापस याद आ रही है जैसे उन्हें बुला रही है. ठीक है eccentric तो बिल्कुल नहीं होता हमारा वो था. ठीक है lonely भी नहीं feel करता और ना absolutely joyful feel करता है. ठीक है he remembers his childhood and his mother as he listens to the tinkle of the rain on the shingles. ठीक है moving on to the ninth question. What is described as melancholy in the poem? Melancholy जो word है, adjective है, जिसका मतलब होता है sad. वो adjective किसके लिए use करा गया poem में? Rain के लिए, cloud के लिए, shadow के लिए और darkness के लिए. A, B, C और D. What is the correct answer over here? The correct answer is darkness. The melancholy darkness. वो लिखा गया ना फर्स्ट आंसर में ठीक है सो डार्कनेस को सैड डिस्क्राइब करा गया है इट्स नॉट रेन और क्लाउड और शैडो ठीक है रेन और शैडो को तो डेफिनेटली नहीं करा करा गया था इट्स डार्कनेस मेलन मेली डार्कनेस ऑल राइट मूविंग ऑन टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन जेंटली वीव्स इन रेनी डेज व्हाट डस दिस फ्रेज मीन ठीक है ये पता नहीं कहाँ से आया है इसको इग्नोर करते हैं इसका मतलब क्या है ठीक है इमोशन ऑफ सॉबिंग फीयर्सली इमोशन ऑफ सॉफ्ट टीयर्स रोलिंग डाउन इमोशन ऑफ ग्रैटिट्यूड और तो इमोशन ऑफ जेंटली पासिंग बाय ठीक है जेंटली वीप्स एंड रेनी टीयर्स इसका मतलब क्या है ठीक है जेंटली पे फोकस कर so what is the correct answer? The correct answer is B. Emotion of soft tears falling down. ठीक है धीरे-धीरे जैसे कि tears जो हैं वो गिर रहे हैं। Comparison इसमें rain का था। ठीक है कि rain को compare करा गया था tears से। ठीक है तो fears नहीं तो बहुत strongly हो जाएगा कि आप बिल्कुल भय-भय करके रो रहे हो। ठीक है तो gently तो ये हुआ नहीं। Gratitude वाला emotion भी नहीं है। ठीक है passing by नहीं बोल सकते because you're weeping, you're crying. So B is the correct. Answer. All right. And kids, here we are done all with all the ten questions. So, बच्चा बड़ी. Now it's time for the homework question. तो आज का homework question ये रहा. Oh, I feel the fawn look. Her fawn look on me. Whose look is mentioned in the poem Rain on the Roof? किसके look की हम बात करी गई है? Poet's, poet's mother, darling dreamers of none of the above. Let me know in the correct answer in the comment section so that I can pick your names for for homework home runners and kiddos. Please इस हफ्ते के schedule को मत भूलना. ठीक है, we started with the bank this week जहाँ पर हमने my childhood की VIP series करी थी. Then I also told you about English labels and paper pattern where we discussed. इस labels क्या है? Questions कैसे आते हैं? The next day on Tuesday we discussed mock sample paper. ठीक है, and I also gave you some tips if you are one of those kids who is very slow at writing. Then on Thursday we did one shot on determiners. Then on Saturday, which is today, we are we did ten most expected NCQs from Rain on the Roof, and tomorrow at 9 p.m. I will be coming with the VIP series on the snake and the mirror. So make sure to watch all of these sessions. Kuch miss out kara aaram se channel pe ja ke check out karo. And kiddos, our Telegram channel ka link is in the description box. Take care where you can you know reach out to us and get all the reminders, BTS, and all the PDFs and notes. Take care. Make sure to join our community. Over there as well and if any of you would like to ping me personally here's my instagram handle feel free to reach out to me over there 
and let me know in the comment section what other topics should I make videos on. And Bacha Party, your teachers are working really hard for you. So, I have made an individual short channel for you, where you can see all the videos that can help you score full marks in your exam. So, please check out those channels along with English ka short channel where I put up videos every single day to upgrade your vocabulary, grammar game, and also put up some great tips and tricks wali videos. So, make sure to subscribe to that channel and if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button do not forget to share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet so bachavari bye bye hasta la vista fir milenge parte parte